Hey guys, so we had Jose Ballester from Spain in here today. He's, uh, I think, number 17th ranked amateur in the world, the current European amateur champion and a junior at Arizona State. Great kid, one of the longest hitters in the college game today. And we were looking at his data, and a really interesting one here is how he creates speed. Now, there's lots of ways to create speed, but uh, I want to show you how he does it. So we looked at his force plate, double plate ready. How he's pushing from the ground, and we looked at his 3D motion capture. Send that elbow there for me. He's going around his the first thing that was very obvious is how fast he moves the club. He does a lot of down cocking, so he hinges the club and he releases with a ton of speed. Very much like a Sergio Garcia. Big lag of the club and then releases. His body speeds are like PGA Tour normal, but the club velocity was cruising at 2,500 degrees per second. Average on tours around 22 to 23, so he does a great job of really rotating the club really fast. He's like 126 club. Boy's got some speed. He gets an incredible energy transfer from his arm to the club, and he does that with lag. He's one of those guys like Sergio Garcia, where he basically creates this massive down cocking, a lag of the club, and then knows how to release it at the right point. And the interesting thing is, guess who his coach is? It's Sergio's dad. Maybe there's a theme here, right? Now, if I look at his torques or his, his ground reaction forces, how he uses the ground, this is kind of interesting. If you want to move a club really fast, right, you want to create power. Power is torque times angular velocity. So move the club really fast, angular velocity, and apply a lot of torque to it. Now torque is a twisting motion, right? Now torque is kind of interesting. If, let's say I'm going to take a club and I'm going to rotate a club around my hand right here. Okay? To calculate the torque, what I do is I take the force. Let's say I apply 10 pounds of force right here, one foot away from where this club's rotating. If I apply 10 pounds of force one foot away, the torque is 10 times one. So that would be 10 foot pounds of torque, right? If I want to increase my torque, I either have to push harder so I can get stronger in the gym and push with 20 pounds, or what I can do is I can get farther away from the center rotation. I can push from over here. So if this was 10 pounds of force, but I just moved two feet away, now it's 10 times two, it'd be 20 pounds or foot pounds of torque. So to increase your torque to move the club faster, I either have to push harder or make my force farther away from the center of rotation. Now golfers can do this by the way they position their body. That's called the moment arm, how far your force pushes from your center of rotation. And we look at it from the, what we call the frontal plane. We look to see how far you push from your center, uh, center of mass. And average on most players is around five to six inches. That's where their forces are going through the center of their body about, they miss the center of their body by five to six inches. If I look at Jose, he was topping out around 13 inches. He actually was almost pushing twice as far away. So if you take the same amount of force, but you move farther away, your torque's gonna go up. And what's interesting with him is he actually doesn't apply a lot of force. His vertical force is around 150% of his body weight. Normally we see around 200% of his body weight. If you see low vertical ground reaction forces, usually there's a power problem. We actually took him into the gym and we tested his lower body and he put up a 25 inch vertical. Average on PGA Tour is 23 inches vertical. So he's showing me he's actually got ballistic power in his lower body. He just hasn't learned how to use that. 24.9, that's good. You're above lower body average, but you don't use it in your swing. <laughs> Which is scary, like you said, how far you yeah. But because he doubles the distance he's doing it, he actually applies more torque than the guys that apply a lot more force. So in a weird way, it's like easy power, right? He doesn't have to push as hard. He just pushes farther away from his center rotation and it creates more torque and you can bomb the ball. If you push from the ground and the ground pushes back and it goes right through the center of your body, you're gonna have a low moment arm. If you push from the ground, but your center of mass is away from where you're pushing. So in other words, if I'm more this way versus this way, it will increase my moment arm. And that's what he does really, really well. Interesting stuff from the biomechanics lab, learning how players hit the ball really far. And Jose is a really interesting one.